Welcome everyone, this is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. market update. I hope you all had a good and profitable day. Look at the composite right now, trading up about 0.38%, closing around that $18,189 area. The Dow Jones Industrial trading at $42,329.95, kind of sideways as it is right now. That dollar finishing a little bit lower than when we started about an hour ago, but just by a few cents, trading at 179 cents. Probably going to stay in that range for quite a while until we get any more rate cuts or any kind of new economic news. Crude oil uh, down, trading at 68.22. Now, of course, we're sideways for the day, but overall, we're moving uh, downward here. The E-mini at 5,800. Cracking that right now. What is the SPY closing at? At 573 currently. You have the gold contract off about point. By 4% trading at 2,653 and 40 cents. Copper off about 1.16% trading at 450 on that contract. And then silver as well, kind of taking it down a little bit today, 1.24% at 31.42. Now, big news uh, that could throw a wrench in some plans with inflation is that obviously we've probably all been reading about this. I'm going to pull this over right now. We can take a look at uh, before we end this segment, U.S. port strike by 45,000 dock workers is all but certain to begin at midnight. Let's go through this. The union representing the U.S. dock workers has signaled that 45,000 members will walk off the job at midnight, kicking off a massive strike likely to shut down ports across the East uh, and Gulf Coast. Coming work stoppage threatens to significantly snarl the nation's supply chains. They're saying uh, a lot of these ports, except in fruit, they accept in furniture like home goods. And so this could uh, end up being a pretty big deal. Uh, I do believe that if this does take off and they don't re reach any kind of conclusion before midnight, um, that this won't be for long. This is kind of reminiscent in my mind of the trucking strike in Canada that was resolved relatively quickly. However, uh, this can end up losing people uh, billions of dollars, even if it's over a period of like a day or two. Uh, the Ocean, let's see here, ILL confirmed over the weekend that its members would hit the picket lines at 12.01. The Ocean carries represented by USMX want to enjoy the rich billion dollar profits that they are making in 2024. They are offering the longshore workers an unacceptable wage package that we reject. So it is a tale as old as time. We'll see what develops out of that, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll be on tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time with the morning market kickoff with Tommy O'Brien. And we have Basil up next, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then the man, Tom O'Brien, at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.